Jasmine Hall, a co-hotel in Suites, Victoria Island, Lagos, was on Friday, 21st September 2012, brimming with tribute, excitement and joy as guests from all corners of the country witnessed and shared the success of the presentation of the book, Remaking the Niger Delta, Challenges and Opportunities, written by an illustrious son of the oil-rich Niger Delta region, Honorable Kinsley Kuku, a passionate personage that has been bearing the flag of hope and emancipation of the Niger Delta people for years. Due to his commitment, relentlessness and deep involvement, coupled with his understanding of the travails which have battled the Niger Delta since the inception of oil exploration in the area, he was eligibly appointed as a member of the Presidential Committee on Amnesty in 2009. Honorable Kinsley Kuku currently is the Special Advisor on Niger Delta and Chairman Presidential Amnesty Program under the administration of President Goodluck Ibele Jonathan. Representing the Senate President, Senator David Mack, at the book presentation, Senator Nuruddin A. Usman spoke extensively on the damage the Niger Delta environment has suffered in the face of what he described as grossly irresponsible act and the practice of crude oil explorers in the region. In a speech, Senator Nuruddin A. Usman made reference to a recent oil spill situation in Brazil where 3,500 barrels of oil were spilled by some oil firms. He said the companies that were responsible for the disaster were not only made to pay $11 billion but also had their licenses revoked. On the contrary, oil firms in Nigeria have only got to pay 1 million naira, regardless of the magnitude, sale or impact of the environmental ills that might have resulted from their exploration activities due to the fact that there are no effective laws to bring them to book. In December in Bonga, 40,000 barrels of oil worth an estimated value of minimum four billion dollars is going to be the loss to the Nigerian revenue was spilled in the Niger Delta in Bonga and what do they tell us when our committee on environment engaged them on what they are going to do they said you have no law to back this. And as such, if you have a law in the whole world, there's what you call polluter pay principle. But in Nigeria, we do not have. We're only waking up to that now. A documentary chronicling the emergence and struggle of an iconic son of the soil, Honorable Kinsley Kuku, was shown to the team in the audience. His practical and dedicated approach to issues of justice and the impoverished citizens of the Niger Delta distinguished him as a genuine advocate of the people who will effectively negotiate in their interest. Alongside other great Nigerians of the Niger Delta origin, Kinsley Kuku was part of several peace missions that in due course culminated into the amnesty program offered by late President Umar Musa Yaradua's administration which was aimed at addressing the problems of unemployment, truancy, youth restiveness and many other vices ravaging the Niger Delta. Senator Nuruddin A. Usman also discussed the positive impact and success of the amnesty program. The Nigerian Aviation Authority in Zaria, Your Excellency, from inception till date, has not produced up to 250 pilots. The amnesty program, Your Excellency, in two years, by January, we'll be giving you over 200 Nigerian pilots of the Niger Delta origin. Honorable Kinsley Kuku, with some flavor of humor, gave a detailed account of how the Niger Delta struggle began, from the very start to the point where their fight for disarmament during the amnesty program became fruitful. The, the kind of arms and ammunition that Nigeria received from the insurgency, there is nowhere in the world that that kind of DDR has occurred. Your Excellency, what today the amnesty program is doing is to keep the peace in the Niger Delta, is to stabilize the security situation in the Niger Delta, and cause those who have the responsibility to bring the roads, to bring the health centers, to bring the schools, to bring development to the people and the land called Niger Delta. It is time for them to move. I don't want anybody's inefficiency to rob me. 
So, tirelessly, at the expense of our families, we are doing what we can do, Your Excellency. It is time for other people who expect this situation to come into that region and develop that region. If that region is not developed, the amnesty program, Your Excellency, will fail one day. As the author of the book, Remaking the Niger Delta Challenges and Opportunities, Kinsley Kuku enumerated the benefit and transformation that has been engendered by the amnesty program in the lives of the Niger Delta youths. He also revealed the need for the government to develop the region to enable the youths put to good use the knowledge and skills they have acquired through the program. The book is indeed a testimony to the monumental challenges of sustainable peace, socio-economic development and justice. It is the chronicle of 50 years of neglect, exploitation and crisis, which also pays tribute to martyrs of freedom struggles like Ken Sarawiwa and many others who have made the sacrifice of the ultimate worth. Vice President Namadi Sambu, who represented President Goodlock Ebele Jonathan at the event, delivered the goodwill message from the President and expressed government's determination to bring unprecedented development to the region. He congratulated the author for his insight and dedication to the Niger Delta course and also encouraged him not to relent in pursuing the cause of justice and fairness for all Nigerians, irrespective of their state and religious leanings. After delivering the president's address, Vice President Namadi Sambo formally presented the book to the teaming audience amidst cheers and thunderous applause. Today's event underscores the place of scholarship and deep intellectual ego in governance. For me, government policies must be product of proper research and wide consultation arising from societal expectation for the good of all. I have read very carefully several chapters in this important book and I truly marvel at Google's energy and resourcefulness giving the very tight schedule at the Presidential Amnesty Office. And in the name of Almighty God that I unveil and present this important book for Nigeria and pray that it will contribute immensely in participating positively for the history of all Nigerians and the world in general. It's therefore my pleasure to unveil the book. Thank you. Barrister Allen Onyema, on behalf of the host, gave the vote of thanks, appreciating everyone present for grazing the presentation with your esteemed presence, thereby making the occasion a huge success. He prayed the Almighty God grant them safe journey back to their respective destinations, which signposted the climax of the event. The occasion was not all about speeches in its entirety, as entertaining sessions came in at intervals to keep the venue bustling with life and fun. The first rising songster, Timmy Dakolo, enthralled the crowd with soul-searching tunes that indeed enlivened the spirit of everyone in attendance. An Ijo cultural troupe mesmerized guests with their performance and splendid costumes as they engaged in a beautiful display of Ijo traditional heritage. <laughs>
it was a well-attended occasion as eminent Nigerians from all works of life tripped into the event to felicitate and register their support for a friend, a brother, a son, and a Nigerian of rare caliber who has unremittingly championed the cause of freedom and justice for his people and has well launched a milestone achievement in his political career. Everybody, come, join me, and let us celebrate this.